Hi, this is Dan Nickerson, and thanks for checking out the Acme theme. The Acme theme is a child theme of 2010. If you have WordPress, you have 2010. It's the default theme that comes with WordPress. And uh, conservatively, millions of people have used the 2010 theme, but there's little things about it that they don't like. So um, I have about five or six things about it I didn't like, and I started digging, and I found a lot of people had things about it that they don't like. And so I said, why not make a simple, easy-to-use, uh, inexpensive theme that can do all these little things that people wish 2010 could do. And so that's what the Acme theme is. Um, so first off, let me just show you some of the key features. Um, we have a header, uh, a logo uploader. So you can replace uh, the H1 title with a logo easily just by uploading it in the settings page. We have an ad space here for a 468 by 60 banner, uh, affiliate code, AdSense code. Whatever you'd like to place here, you can place right here in this widget, or you can just leave it blank, and you can add in a longer uh, logo image if you'd like. We have a, a leaderboard widget, so you can insert uh, AdSense at the top or a banner code or whatever you like. This is actually full width as well, so if you have something that's wider than 728, you can add a banner there as well. I changed the width of the sidebar because I thought it was too small, and I changed some of the font uh, uh, sizing and style on the right-hand side as well. And then scrolling down, there are four widget locations here. These come with 2010 as it is, but I sort of accented them because a lot of people don't realize that they can use that and put ads and stuff there. Uh, very importantly, I put a lower navigation bar. This was never in 2010, so I added a lower navigation menu that uses the WordPress 3.0 menus. I also added a uh, 728 by 90 or full width footer widget at the bottom, so you can average, so you can uh, put an advertisement there. And then going back up, I added some templates that marketers would like. So I have a no page title template. I get on my other themes, I get re this request all the time. Can I have a no page title template? Because people don't like pages that say about or about or contact contact those kind of things. So you can just select the, the template that doesn't have the page title. I also have a one column no page title so this is great for like privacy pages or terms pages and so forth and I have a just a one column template this actually came standard with 2010 but what I did was increase the padding because the padding on 2010 was was way inside way too much padding I've added a couple of templates I have a squeeze page template so you can see this template right here all you do is select the squeeze page template. You can paste a YouTube video or any video you like. You can paste your AWeber or get response or opt-in form, whatever you like on the right, and it'll be pointed right underneath the big arrow. You can add in a headline. This is not a page title. This is actually inside the post editor where you can just add your own H1 or H2 tag. I also added wraparound text. You don't see this too often. So this allows you to have the above the fold landing page and then below the fold you can have a lot of text that will help you get uh, uh, approved for ad for AdWords or get just get indexed better in the search engines for your squeeze page. You don't see that too, too often. And then finally this is one of my favorite features and that is the flex page template. So I created this flex page template and you can see here that uh, it might not look like much right here, but see this enti entire container can be changed uh, at will. So you can change the width of it to percentage or pixels. So this can be 100 pixels wide, this can be 900, 1000, whatever you'd like. You can actually remove the WordPress CSS with one click. So if you want to paste in an HTML sales page or something other HTML code, you won't have any interference from WordPress. So that's a really cool thing. Here's another example of another flex page. And you click on that, and you can see that there, yeah, it's full width. It's got a dark background. You can change that from page to page using the flex page. Uh, for a lot of marketers, anybody that's doing membership sites or download sites, you just l know the value of having a simple, clean, unbranded container that you can instantly modify, and make it no index, no follow, and do all kinds of things, uh, so that you can um, make a quick page. And let's just show you the back end. And once again, this is super simple. I'm not, you know, this is designed for like a, an extra. This is like the 101 uses template that you want to have in your arsenal of templates uh, and themes. So here's just the simple settings page. You can upload your logo. You can upload your own custom favicon. You can add your analytics code. You can add custom CSS. And we also will be launching on ClickBank soon. And you can add in your own little attribution link and uh, and your full affiliate URL I was just testing here sorry about that and so that's it that's the Acme theme and if you'd like to purchase it there's a very low price you can see right below this video and uh, I hope to see you uh, as an Acme theme member thanks